Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the very first day of October. If you watched our last vlog, then you know that we have dreamed of this day all year long. We are so excited that it's finally here because it is our baby's birth month and we're just so, so happy. And what a day to kick off October 1st than to go to a baby shower. So I am headed up to Jared's work. His work is actually throwing us a baby shower, which I think is so, so kind. I've never even met anyone at his work before, so this is gonna be interesting, but they do love of Jared they wanted to give us a baby shower so that's what I'm doing probably won't take the camera in there like I said I've never met these people before he does work in a pharmacy so COVID is a thing I will just stay in the back but yeah probably won't bring the camera in but that's where I'm going so I'll see y'all a little bit later hey guys I'm back home from the shower Jared's still at work he will be there for another four and a half hours two o'clock exactly on the dot right now and he gets off at 6 30 today the shower was so cute like I just wasn't expecting it to be themed and I thought that they were just kind of kind of bring some stuff to eat and we we're just gonna you know it was like full-on Winnie the Pooh themed there was yellow cupcakes with little bees on it there was blue punch for boy it was really cute like blue plates with gold polka dots on it there was a big Winnie the Pooh banner behind like the table of food they had chick-fil-a catered they had like little honey teddy grams and then there was this little Winnie the Pooh it's like a wind-up it looks like a super old-school wind-up Anyways, but they gave us this and this was sitting like on like a diaper cake and then the guy that Jared swaps on and off with uh, Jared's seven on seven off and the guy that like worked his other seven got us like their own gift uh, They got us a portable cell machine and then they got us a bunch of books They got us a corduroy book. So I have a thing with bears. Bears are my favorite thing in the whole wide world and um, Aside from Winnie the Pooh. I love little bear and so they got us three little bear books. This one it says, just in case you ever wonder. And it's a book about how much the baby is loved. So that was super, super sweet. And then the actual pharmacy got us a gift card to Amazon, a very large gift card. Definitely not expecting that, <laughs> but we are so grateful and so thankful that Jared works for such a wonderful pharmacy with so many people that love him and wanted to shower our baby. Totally unexpected, but we are so, so grateful and I just, I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. I am drinking a small Gatorade. I'm going to have some yogurt and a little bitty thing of pretzels and we got like the Halloween pretzels that are like spider webs and <laughs> bats. Alright guys, it is a lot later. <laughs> I went to this thing with my best friend Hannah. It's like Raylana, so if you're a mom or you've got nieces or nephews or best friends with kids and you might know what Raylana is, but um, it's like a consignment shop, but like a really nice one that they host once or twice a year. And they had all kinds of stuff, cute shoes, cute outfits. It was really, really cool. I've always wanted to go. We found a bunch of cool stuff like shoes, Christmas outfits, a book. I don't know, I'll show you when we get home. I'll show you everything we got. But I met Jared and I've seen him twice today. I know that's not a big deal, but for us, we don't see each other a lot during this work week. But we are at Outback, and we are going to grab something to eat. Okay, so we're back home, and I was so excited because I got so much stuff at the uh, Raylana thing, and then we actually went to Cracker Barrel and got a few more things, and then we went to meet one of Jared's old co- well, still co-workers, but at a job he just works PR in at, and she got us a baby gift, and I wanted to show you all that, but I was so excited when we got home. I started taking tags off. I was ready to wash it to get it put up because I nest like, I've been nesting like a crazy person. I've been nesting since I found out I was pregnant, but we've been cleaning our room, getting everything kind of put up and situated, and I look <laughs> and Jared's gotta go put all the stuff in the car. I'm ready, guys. <laughs> this is literally what he's gonna this look like coming in the, in the hospital. Like, Alright, ready to check in. <laughs> wow. Give us that VIP suite, please. Is that okay? Can you or do you feel like you're like drowning no, and I mean, stuff? I can do this. I just feel like I'm a little like an idiot busted up into a hospital and all this stuff. But well, maybe if you put this bag, if you set it on top of here, it'll be like more right. comfortable for whenever we go in. We've got a diaper bag, camera just... bag with multiple cameras, Brit stuff, and then my stuff plus like everything else we're gonna need inside the room for like yeah, you know, two nights maybe. Oh, good morning, y'all. I look like I'm about to just like fall over and pass out because we are so tired. Jerry looks pretty tired too. Morning. I look super tired. I have had such a hard time sleeping. Oh, it's catching up with me. It's getting just so uncomfortable. It's like uncomfortable. It's just really hard. And by the time you get comfortable, you gotta pee, and then you gotta get up, and then you gotta get comfortable again, and then you get comfortable and fall asleep, then you gotta pee again. So, 
you just can't get any sleep and they say it doesn't stop so I know you do not have to be the person that's like well if you think you're not getting sleep now wait till that baby comes I know but at least when the baby comes we have Jared's mom and dad there too and there's Jared like when I have to pee you can't nobody get up and pee with me so I have to get up but we are headed to a chiropractor appointment for Jared and then after the appointment we are headed to another ultrasound surprise you don't get a vlog without an ultrasound these days but it'll probably be the same old same old we have an ultrasound we can't wait to see our son he's probably not gonna cooperate so yeah we say that every single time because he never cooperates he is always facing my back where you can't ever get good pictures of his face but and then we are going to probably go to jackson mississippi because we want to look at strollers there we live in a pretty small town where they don't have like big baby stores and stuff like that and we really want to test out a couple different strollers before we make a purchase because we do have a do not it's right back behind me but it's very very compact it's very tiny it tips over easy and it's not like one that we would take on like a big trip it would just be like running in a town or something and we're probably going to keep it in jared's truck so he will always have a stroller so we don't have to like take car seats in and out we could just we'll have one that turns from a car seat to a stroller and then we'll have like the real stroller in my car because he'll be with me the majority of the time sorry daddy my daddy goes to work all the time. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna probably do that. A couple of strollers that we're looking at are the Upper Baby Vista, the Upper Baby Cruise, and the Nuna Pippa because I really am into that Nuna Pippa light car seat because it weighs like three pounds, but it is one of the safest car seats on the market, which is mind blowing. But so those are the ones that we're kind of like looking at are the Upper Babies and the Nuna. We're almost 100% sure that we're gonna get an Upper Baby and we're probably gonna get the Cruise because we only have one baby right now. We don't really need one that converts to a two baby thing. Church sure getting that. <laughs> Drivers. I followed this guy for like 10 miles. This is how it is every morning when I leave the house every morning I'm behind the same person all the way out till I get to the road like the big road like all, all the time and it's always somebody really really slow. Nobody's yep. ever in a hurry around yep. here but that's okay. This guy certainly qualifies for that. <laughs> I was I was behind a woman the other morning and it, the speed limit on this road is what 40? What does it say? It's just saying my dashboard. 40, she was going 20. She was going half of the speed limit. And I was like, ma'am, you know you can also get a ticket for going too slow, cause so could you like bump it up a notch? No ma'am, mm-mm, so slow. But anyways, we're headed to the chiropractor. We'll see you in a little bit. Do you need me to drive? Because I just saw your eyes do this. I'm good. 
You got precious, precious cargo in here. Anyways, we are headed to Jackson, Mississippi. We are in Vicksburg right now, so we've made it to Mississippi. It's only about an hour and a half from our house, two hours, it's not that bad. But they've got better stores in Jackson than we, than we do, like bigger, more like name brand stores. So we're gonna go look for a stroller at their baby place and then probably run to Williams Sonoma because I love Williams Sonoma, it's one of my favorite stores. And maybe pop into anthropology, grab something to eat, and then head home. Uh oh. Tropical smoothie. Oh, and we're gonna go tropical smoothie because it's like our favorite smoothie place ever. And I love me a green smoothie. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the day. So we made it, and we're going into the store called Playpen. They're supposed to have like really nice strollers, but this doesn't look like the nicest store I've ever seen. So try not to judge what box cover, and we will see. Okay, so. We're not leaving. But we need to see if it'll fit in our car. So she's letting us carry it out to the car to see. Because our Duna is too big for the back seat of our car. So we're gonna try out the Upper Baby Mesa and see if it'll fit better in our car. Okay, so we've got the Mesa in and it definitely, definitely fits better. And it's easier to get in and out than the Duna. Like it does so soft and like seamless. And it's really nice. I really like it a lot. And I think we're actually gonna get it in this color. This is called Henry. And we're gonna get a white stroller that's called Bright. So those are the colors we have finally, after all this time, decided on. But this is the car seat I think we're gonna get. That one is so much more compact. Woo! Hey. <laughs> So we just left the stroller place or the baby store and we ended up buying a Alpa Baby Cruise because there's no point really in getting the Vista unless you know you already have a kid or you know you're going to have another kid and we don't know. We just are focusing on this one kid. The difference between the Cruise is the Cruise is a little bit smaller and you cannot add a second seat. We don't need a second seat right now and it's a lot more expensive so we just decided to get the up a baby cruise and we got it in bryce white with like a saddle handlebar it's really pretty and we're getting the henry which is a soft powder blue car seat to go with it in the up a baby mesa that's ordered that was so not stressful but it's taken us probably six months of constantly studying up a babies and other car seats and other strollers to decide on which one we wanted what color we wanted which version we wanted finally decided today and now we're at second shake and we're gonna run in and grab something neat we see it at second shake all the time in dallas and we don't have one where we live anymore so i didn't even know they had one in jackson but we're gonna eat this <sighs> i'm out of breath and i'm really hot i'm hot flashes so let's go get some chicken strips <laughs> from the groomer and oh my goodness Oakley look he has a little candy corn bandana on it so cute and we got him this like toy bat he's obsessed with and yes I had this sweatshirt on yesterday because when you are nine months pregnant and you find something that's comfy you wear it as much as you can because there's not much that fits that is comfy anymore my mama's sweatshirt is gonna have to do probably see it in, like every vlog and until I give birth. Maybe after Maybe that too. After. We are about to head back home. We just picked up Oakley. That was really our only errand for the day. We're about to stop by the salon on the way home though because we do not have a Trader Joe's where we live, but we love Trader Joe's. We had one when we lived in Dallas, and so we were just spoiled to it. Anytime we go out of town and there's a Trader Joe's, we always bring our little bag. And my friend went to Little Rock where they just got a new Trader Joe's. Well, they got their only Trader Joe's there. And my favorite things ever from Trader Joe's are their turkey corn dogs. And they've been one thing that I can keep down during pregnancy. So she bought me 10 boxes of them, and she brought them to the salon and put them in our freezer. So. We're running by the salon to pick those up. All the corn dogs. It's hurricane day 2.0 again. Um, and if you can't hear us, if it's loud and it's rainy, it's because we're in the middle of another hurricane. We're not technically in the middle of it yet, but it's hitting landfall. To, it should be hitting landfall within the next couple of hours. <sighs> but the good news is we sold our house after the last hurricane. And so we don't technically have, we have one less house to worry about. 
because we were having to worry about two houses, a house that we're building and the house that we lived in because the house that we lived in had a million billion Julian pine trees. And if you know anything about pine trees, they fall. So we're really excited that we don't have those pine trees to worry about, but now we have to worry about our house that's being built standing through a second hurricane like weeks apart. We are back home after doing everything we did uptown. Brit is sitting on the couch editing, trying to get caught up on all these little clips along the way that we've been filming the last couple weeks now. Uh, we We're... haven't put up a vlog in it's been a minute. We kind of skipped up a couple weeks just because it's, we have got an appointment, I swear, every three seconds. We just been going to appointments, going to work, going to ultrasounds, which qualifies as appointments, but we are just at the very, very end of our pregnancy. My pregnancy, I guess. Jared's not carried anything. Getting comfortable and all that stuff is just getting harder and harder. And so I'm just sitting on the couch and I have had such good health and I've not had a single blood pressure problem. I've had no issues at all, but in the last like three days, my feet have started to swell. And they're not just like normal swelling, they're like doing the pitting edema thing where you push in and it doesn't come back out. So Jared's got me on couch rest with my feet and <laughs> propped up on the yoga ball and the pillows and I'm trying to edit, so. Just we're trying to make out. sure we kind of got a lot of this done so we don't have to worry about it if we were to go into labor at any time and then have to come home and try to do that. Yeah, since we're going into labor. Yeah. <laughs> team, yeah. Team effort here. Yeah, okay. And Oakley's still playing with his new bat he got from the store. And he's got his candy corn bandana on and he's had so much energy since he's come home it's just like getting a haircut in a bath he's like i'm ready to play now like he's so like he feels like a new dog he got all his old <laughs> haircut off and he's like swift and fast and full of energy and now we're just hanging out in the house we don't get days like this very often where it's just me and jared and we get to just hang out not do anything not go to work not really have any appointments other than oakley's this morning but we are waiting on hurricane delta to get here it was supposed to hit landfall, probably like right now, and then it will work its way up. We are in North Louisiana, so it's not near as bad for us, but we said that for Hurricane Laura, and our town was almost destroyed. So, I don't know, like we were, people were out of power for like two weeks. The last thing on earth I want to do right now is have a baby and then lose power and have to bring a newborn home to a house with no power. Living on the prairie again. No, thank you. So I'm praying that this just is just rain and we don't experience the hurricane effect of it like we did Laura because that was freaking hot mess. So hopefully it's just rain, but we're just sitting inside waiting on it to get here, I guess. Hey, that's good. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a good spot in Jared's truck. You're that sitting kid. on the, like, like my touch screen yeah cool anyways we just got in the truck and we ran up to town to we didn't run we actually drove in my truck to go to chick-fil-a because i have massive ass reflux and uh everything that jared said he wanted he was like pizza tacos i was like i know i do you know you said like, meatballs well, I like them. I just had them the other day. I posted it in our meatballs story. Meatballs is way more acid reflux giving. And than to those clarify, other two. the meatballs that we want, you know, the ones that you get at Thanksgiving that you make at Thanksgiving, the grape jelly meatballs. Mm. I posted it in our story. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you should because I'll be talking about some random stuff over there, <laughs> like how to make Thanksgiving grape jelly meatballs. But uh, I'm just craving them. They're so good. But we decided on Chick-fil-A because I know that I can keep it down. Except for Chick-fil-A. It's still raining. Still. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> the storm hadn't even hit yeah. us yet, so it's going to be a while. It's hitting coast right now. Yeah. So, like, future prayers. I mean, like, by the time you see this, it will have already done its damage. But we're currently praying for the coast of Louisiana. <sighs> so, anyways, we're at Chick-fil-A. I think our food. fence coming too. Mm. Britt is doing her nightly routine right now of getting on her birthing ball, <laughs> working those hips back and forth and up and down, trying to do everything she can to get all of those muscles and everything ready to have, a baby. have a baby. Yep, pushing down into the birth canal more naturally on his own. Into my pelvic ball, and I'm watching Jeff Element. It's my favorite. We just got home. Well, I guess we just didn't just get home. We've been home for a little while. I took a bath, a pretty warm bath to try to get things, whatever they need to be gotten. I don't really know. But then I've spent some time on my birth ball and Jared is finishing editing and Kipper 
has found his new favorite way to sleep. And this is a baby bump. But look at Kipper, oh my gosh. Is he not the cutest dog you've ever seen in your entire life? Oh my goodness. Good morning. Where we left y'all last night, you knew that we were about to experience Hurricane Delta, which was super exciting because we just had Hurricane Laura six weeks ago. Luckily, we don't live in our little bitty tiny house anymore because that is the most anxiety driven house when it comes to high winds because there are bajillion foot pine trees all around it and they snap. But we were lucky that we sold our house, hated somebody else's problem, but we're so glad that that was a weight lifted off of our chest for this hurricane because the winds were so, so, so strong last night. They kept us up all night. By we, I mean, I was up and I kept Jared up because I was actually sick. I was throwing up all night last night. I wasn't really worried about something happening to us. We have a tree where we're building our new house and it's like leaning and it's an old oak tree and I was so nervous that that tree was gonna fall on our house and I was just so worried about it and that the power went out at like 1.30 and I was awake so naturally I noticed it immediately and I was like, Jared, the power went out. He's like, my God, why do you do this every time? When that fan stops going, I'm like, the fans off it was dead silent so you could hear every gust of wind you could hear every twig snap but by twigs we mean branches and trees falling down left and right transformers <laughs> blowing our entire city is without power i think they actually we just passed the gas station they might actually have gas because all the gas stations that we went to were out of power so we couldn't get gas and my car is almost empty and if i go into labor i need gas in my car we're not typically the people that run and get gas during a natural disaster because Everybody does it and it's not necessary a lot of times, but it is necessary for us because I could go into labor any second. But right now, everything is good at our house. In-laws are going to get a generator to take it back to their house to get us electricity, at least to our refrigerators. We're heading to my best friend's house now because a tree did fall at their house, not on their house, but very, very close to their house, like right by their bedroom window. And so Jared's gonna go help cut that up. And then me and Hannah are gonna go to Chick-fil-A. We need to ride by my parents' house because we're right down the road from my mom and dad's. They always have trees down because we live on Pecan Orchard and there is nothing weaker than a dang pecan tree. We thought pine was weak. Pine is like such a, such a, like weak. Like you could go, achoo, and then it go crunk. Hey y'all, today is Sunday, October the 11th. Brett and I have had a really, really chill day. It's been so beautiful outside and warm. We've just been letting all the sun inside while we've been doing things around the house today. Today's also pretty exciting because we got in a really, really important piece about being new parents. We got <laughs> our car seat in and technically we already have a car seat. Yeah. We do have a Duna and we got it for our baby shower and we love it, but my car is too small. I have a Mazda CX-5 and it's it just is so too compact. Pack yeah, that it didn't fit well with the base and everything connected like it, it's pushing right up into the seat and in front I have to of it. my passenger seat like way up so yeah like I ride my passenger seat because we take my car most places because Jared's truck is way too high for me to get in and out of I don't like feeling like my knees are on the dashboard and then when I, nobody's in my car with me and I'm driving my passenger seat is super scooted up and I don't like it because I'm like I don't want you being in front of me we decided that we did want to get the upper baby system and you saw that we went and tried out the stroller we decided to go ahead and order the car seat and it was to get here Tuesday Tuesday and it came it's already here today today's Sunday, Sunday. Good we, job, we got in like two we really did get in like two days so yeah. we're gonna unbox it and so what we're gonna do is actually move the Duna into my truck because my truck is a lot more spacious and it has plenty of room to just live there all the time and it, he's stronger so yeah. like he can and it, it is really heavy with all of it together and so it was really hard for Brett to lift all that up but for me leaving it in my truck it'll be totally fine oh and also I wanted to show you like this we got this for the baby because our friends Dan and Faye Hey, Dan and Faye, if you're watching this, um, there are some of our friends from England, and they got this last year for their little boy Noah, and I thought it was so cute. And so we decided to get it for our little boy this year. It's a storybook collection from Disney, and it's an advent calendar. It's very uncomfortable these days, huh? <laughs> right, there's not a lot I can, I can do. But it's got all these stories. It shows you what the stories are on the back. 
and it says countdown to Christmas with all your Disney and Pixar friends. Unwrap 24 books this festive season and enjoy a magical tale every day in the run up to Christmas. That'll be fun because we read a book to him every night in my belly. So we definitely plan on continuing that once he's here even though he's gonna be little bitty and he has no idea what any of these means or who these are or what books are it's just a way for us to spend time with him and for him to hear our voices and for us to just I don't know have just like little bonding moments you open it up wow. and it's, it's pretty <laughs> and you have to like find whichever one it is so we actually accidentally pulled this one out earlier and each little sleeve it's not like a pot it's like a little pocket sleeve it has a Disney themed book this one is a Nemo book and it says a big Big blue Christmas, which is funny because we love the song Big Blue World. That's really exciting. Probably get to reuse this, so we'll get this December 1st. We're so excited. Even Kipper's excited about the new car seat, but we got the Up A Baby Mesa which is the one that we carried out to our car when we were at the store in Jackson. And we decided to get the exact same one that we brought out to the car. We brought the Henry. Yay, go sit on the couch. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like the perfect shade of blue without it being like super colorful. Like it almost looks gray. So, so pretty. His daddy picked this color. I was gonna get a gray one or a black one. And Jared's like, I want this one. So we got this one. Really, there's not a lot to it. You just take it out of the It all comes like assembled together, it looks like. Dipper's so intrigued. He's like, what? <laughs> what do you need this for? Okay. We're going to install the car seat. So we've got to get the Duna out first. It should just be right here. Is your truck unlocked, Jared? Oh, it's hot in here. Goodness gracious. Before we install the car seats, I had a friend give two of these to us and you set the car seat on them so they don't hurt your seat and it's auto seat protector. So we're going to install those first and then we'll pop the car seats on top. All right, daddy has his car seat. All right, now try to get it out. Jared cannot figure out the get out part. <laughs> it's really complicated to get the Duna out. You have to like push on the button and squeeze it in and then pull it out. It's not that bad. Now that we've done it a hundred times. But look how much easier it comes in and out of your car versus mine. Yeah, for sure. All right, Mesa's turn now in mommy's yeah. car. Oh, oh gosh, you have to push it. Oh, it's hard. And then you hear it clicking. It's got like this latch. Okay, so there's that. Don't go into labor trying to do this. <laughs> I can't reach. You may get it. <sighs> Probably. It's like when the seatbelt gets pulled too tight and it starts clicking. That's what it's doing. Okay, this is going to take two hands because I'm way too out of breath. So dad's going to do that side. Oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's in. Okay, so now push. Like you push until that flips over to green. So push really hard hard like with all your body both hands like CPR good job <laughs> see and then it swaps over to green there we go now get it out <laughs> this one's so easy to get out you just pull this and pull at the same time like it's so easy to get out like so easy yeah that's way easier than way the Dana for sure Ooh, now I just need a baby in it okay baby your turn <laughs> <laughs> you're like gonna go from here to here jump in oh, and we got our backseat mirrors they're called um leo and ella we got them from amazon and they are so easy to install they have like a 360 like range of motion and we bought one from target and it was awful like awful awful i still this gotta get one for mine it's awesome we need to order it tonight so you'll have one and it'll come in so we'll both be set i'm so out of breath i'm trying to get these car seats in i can't like brush my hair without getting out of breath though so we're good to go oh excuse me bug that's not your car seat all right, Kipper. We are going for a walk. Kipper is getting a bath tonight, and so before he gets a bath and gets all clean, we like to let him run and get all of his energy out so he sleeps good and clean. And when he's going to. When he's coming to. Ooh. And we're trying to walk to get this baby to come on and work his way on down. He is up high, 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 like at the very top of my ribs. If so, we're trying to walk to get him to smush down some. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Walking up this hill is no joke 
especially when you're pregnant. <laughs> so this was one huge tree that fell yesterday with Hurricane Delta. Both sides of the road we have clean up. This was laid all the way across the road and that's what they were able to do from pretty much all the men that live on this road. We were all able to get it pushed to the sides enough to where we can get up and down the road now. Kipper, what you think? Even if the sky is falling down I'm sweaty. My glasses are <laughs> Birth ball time. It's like literally came in from inside and came and sat down here though. It's like one place you're able to actually get relief for a little while though, huh? Yeah, here and in the bathtub. That in the bathtub. For sure. There's not a nice way <laughs> to sell this thing, so <laughs> sorry. But this is just what you're supposed to do. So I've been bouncing. What I've been doing every day is try to get this baby to drop. So we're outside playing Kipper's new favorite game. <laughs> we got one of these chuck it things from Tractor Supply <laughs> last week. And it has this ball in it that fits like perfectly in there and you can just like throw it such a long way. You ready? Ready? Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna see if you can see these, but he has the hiccups and they're so sweet. He's moving, so he's moving somewhere where you can't really see him, but usually his hiccups are really strong. Oh, I feel him right here. Okay, he can't see his hiccups anymore, but he is moving like crazy. And I don't really have a lot of like footage of him moving. I know I'll regret it if I don't get it, so let's see if we can see him moving. Oh, there he goes. Today I am 38 weeks and two days. Tomorrow is our doctor's appointment and we will see if I've dilated any, you know, what else the next steps we need to do to take towards a safe and healthy delivery. Cause baby boy is running out of room. So I'm making some tea in my new favorite mug in the whole wide world. And I'm actually making it with this tea from the Tea and Spice Exchange, or the Spice and Tea Exchange. I always get it wrong, but this is a store I talk about all the time. You can actually find it at Disney Springs, but we have one in our hometown. So I mix in the berry bouquet herbal tea with Earth Mama 100% organic raspberry leaf tea. This tea is supposed to help induce, not necessarily induce labor, but it's supposed to help to make labor easier. So they say you can drink like up to three glasses a day I only drink one glass at night like one mug full at night it doesn't taste that good it's kind of kind of tastes like rubber <laughs> it's really not the best thing in the world but if you mix it with something else it's pretty good so this is where we are last appointment last appointment and Britt just got told could have a baby today possibly because her blood pressure is up and I immediately, and immediately she was like <laughs> in my, in my inside so okay we were interrupted but then she left and then i started literally, literally, throwing, literally up. throwing up i was like mm. like i had to grab the trash can throw up and they heard me outside and she was like i brought you some water and she was like i'm sorry about that i think it's her nerves are like no she was like, i'm not nervous. ready for so i was like i guess she said have you been sick like this i was like well i'm pretty much sick all the time so we're waiting on the doctor to come in I think we'll really have a real discussion to have when she gets here. If we're having I'm kind of a little. Today or tomorrow, <laughs> I'm a little or? apprehensive that because your blood pressure is up today, she may be like, um, well, today's the day, guys. I believe this one more. 
So I don't know. I've we'll had that already. <laughs> tomorrow? Can we come in tomorrow night, please? We'll see. Okay. Well, we now have our game plan together. We're having Not a baby. Not having a baby today. We're having a baby. Not having him tomorrow, but we're going into the hospital tomorrow. He will be born on October 21st. So we'll go in kind of early evening tomorrow, get ready, and then at some point, probably after midnight, we're all being induced. I'm scary. <laughs> but at least we have a plan. Yep. I'm going to the hospital tomorrow.